Hi, this is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under, or trying to report, because I've had numerous attempts, um, and QuickTime has failed. I couldn't export, uh, so yeah, so we get this, and as you can see, um, I've only got this amount of time to download all my stuff. In other words, that's a complete failure. But I also tried a uh, another um, another method which I use on the Mac to record. Uh, usually works. Uh, uh, control Alt or Control Command. I can't remember five, which allows me to record a screen. Um, yeah, I'm able to record it, but even though all the settings are right, uh, I don't get any sound through my um, um, uh, through my headphones, and that's a problem that started since uh, getting someone in else to uh, fix my computer. Uh, so there you are. Anyway, I just want to go through this very very quickly. So this is what um, cams shows today. Uh, I haven't shown the uh, color ledger. But what would your impression be if you saw this uh, with all of that uh, different shades of green? Yeah, that's right. Uh, perhaps not so bad. But how did it look uh, a year ago? Um, yeah, here we are, a year ago. Now that's pretty alarming. And yet the, um, the actual data is no different or very little different from what it was a year ago. And I'm just going to go over very briefly the background to this. Um, we were having problems about a year ago, last December, and Margot uh, opened up a ticket uh, with with uh, with CAMS. They didn't reply after a week. I think even after two weeks, they never replied. And then they made uh, surreptitious changes where they changed the whole color ledger, which makes the same data look uh, kind of perfectly sort of normal uh, compared with this. Um, and then after a week after that, they, get, they came back with some sort of reply. So really, I just take that as, um, as a sign that they're manipulating the data to try and uh, produce the wrong uh, impression. They don't want people to know uh, the news that came out today about the uh, about the methane. I see that's only been in three outlets. It's been in the UK Telegraph of all places. It's been in Newsweek of all places, and then it's been in the Moscow uh, the Moscow Times uh, and nowhere else. None of the uh, the uh, you know the the normal suspects like the BBC or the Guardian who write into kind of climate news. Um, so I'm just going to show you one more slide. Oh, no, I'm not. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. Okay. These things have a habit of disappearing on me. I open them. So this is the color ledger. The color ledger has uh, changed. The data hasn't. So we get small areas where it's really, really high. They can't escape that. About 21 Hundred parts per billion, uh, what they regard as kind of normal levels in the Arctic are about uh, somewhere between 1900 to 6200, 2000 parts per billion, which is really, really high. Uh, until recently, the average um, level um, was about 1800 parts per billion, which is what we get down in the, uh, in the Southern Hemisphere. So that is also, the average is already a really high reading. So I suspect that they are kind of, well, they're definitely manipulating the interpretation of the data, and they might be uh, manipulating or even perhaps falsifying the, uh, the data. Um, I'm not going to go that far because I, I don't, have any proof of that, um, but certainly they don't want us to know 
uh, the truth about what's going on, that's for sure. Uh, Seymour Rocks, reading from Darmanda.